now!
one of us now. Unwelcome guests are a clause for concern. What brings you here? Don't
Don't play dumb. You can't wheedle out of this one. I trust you are all in fine fetter. Now, it would seem my plan has failed. I never expected you to use the sands of time. But explain to me one thing. I thought you despised humans. What shame could be greater than joining forces with one? You murdered me! Pushed my friend to the very brink of ruin! What has been the point of all this, Armin? <laughs> you are merely pawns. Pieces I manipulate for my own lofty purpose. Nadiria is about to gain a new ruler. One who will change the world utterly. Now, before I eradicate you once and for all, allow me to show you something. Well, see a few familiar faces. Those stone golems all have one thing in common. They are elves, cursed to take such pitiful forms. In destroying them, you have played a crucial role in the demise of elf kind. Oh, how decidedly devious! How perfectly unprincipled! You're the lowest of the low. Now, my friends, as you may know, the greatest honor of any good pawn is sacrifice. Consider this your punishment for sullying the era of the one true ruler with your vile presence. This is the era of Armin. My, my, my lord! No! Not me! I don't want to die! I don't want to! No! 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 Where do you think you're go- Whoa!
Oof! I thought we were done for. You have broken the curse. Thank you. Who are you? I am the Queen of Elzetta, the ancient elven kingdom. The ancient kingdom? Elzetta? I was the circle of caprice in its entirety, transformed by Armin's curse. He did that to you? But why? We elves have the power to manipulate spatial and temporal dimensions. In Elzetta, we succeeded in condensing magic to create two kinds of crystal. To control space, we made Travelite. And Chronosite to control time. It's just like my pendant. Armin, overcome by an insatiable desire for this power, placed a curse upon my kingdom. One day, he marched his monster army into Elzetta and attacked us. They took what they came for, our Travelite and Chronosite. When he was done, Armin dragged Elzetta deep, deep beneath the ground. I remember my grandmother telling me stories of the lost Elven Kingdom. She said that our ancestors had created crystals of immeasurable power. You are our savior. If you seek a reward, Merely name it, and I will make it so. You wish to be taken to Randolfo the Tyrant? In that case, I must create a new piece of travelite for you. With that, you will be able to travel to the upper echelon of the Circle of Conquest, where Randolfo surely awaits. But now, I must replace the home that the monsters here have lost. By the power of Chronosite, I will turn back time and restore this land to its previous form. This is farewell. I pray you may find peace wheresoever your journey ends.
Can you hear me? The Zenith Dragon! An event of great import is taking place. Look. I trust you are in fine fettle, my lord. Ah, Amon. You are all a fluster. What happened? <laughs> I, I am merely excited to present you with a most exquisite gift. Behold, the secret of evolution. Those who wield its power may transcend the limits of all that is natural. I would be honored if Master Dolph were first to try it. Should he do so? Its immense strength would ultimately annihilate him. Am I wrong? You hoped that he would destroy me before the power consumed him. You are clever, Amon. But perhaps not as clever as you think. Besides, we already obtained the secret of evolution without you. So, would you like to peer beyond nature's limits for yourself? To generate such power? That's impossible. Behold. The supreme secret of evolution. I would be honored if you were first to try it. Dolph! The supreme secret of evolution. Not only does it allow a greater level of control, one need not destroy oneself in using it. Should Randolpho wield it against the human world, it would result in the total extinction of life. You must put a stop to your father. Only you can do this. 
Smack in the kisser myself. Come on, let's go pay him a visit. Shall we feast on meat and mead, on treats laid out before us? You know the place, so do I. Our secret banquet. The finale is almost upon us, my brother. Which future will you choose for us? Thank you.